what does the word fika mean? The word fika is lost in translation. There's really no correct way to translate this word into any other language, since the Swedish fika is so much more than just a simple coffee break. The word is enveloped in several myths regarding its origin. The word fika appeared in the Swedish language around 1910, and according to the book Secret Languages in Sweden, it all started as prison slang for drinking coffee at the prison of Långholmen in Stockholm, Sweden. Another theory, according to the linguist Lars Gunnar Andersson, is that the word fika origins from backslang, a secret language by the leather makers and sellers from the city of Malung in Sweden. Using anagrams to make up secret words of their own, using the old Swedish word for coffee, kaffe, made the new word fika. So what is fika really then? Fika is a big part of every Swede's everyday life. Basically, fika just means to have a coffee with a cookie or pastry, but it is so much more than just that. It has been described as a social institution or even phenomena. It is a legitimate reason to set aside a moment for quality time. Fika can happen at any time, morning as well as evening. It can be savored at home, at work, or in a cafe. Swedish people often described as distant, calm, and unsocial love their fika. It gives them the opportunity to meet and hang out with friends, get to know new people, check out potential partners, or network with business folks. What is the history behind the Swedish fika? Originally, it was the coffee itself which was introduced in Sweden in the late 1800th century that was considered the actual fika. Over the years, however, the accompanying baked treats, often called fika bread, became just as important along with the social aspect of the custom. Ever since the first cluster of patisseries arrived in Sweden at the end of the 1900th century, thanks to highly skilled confectioner Swiss immigrants, the Swedish cafe has continued to flourish in a style uniquely its own. Some years after the arrival of the very first Swedish patisseries, the café was considered quite a game-changer as it provided Sweden's emancipated female population with dedicated and accepted places for women to socialize outside the home. In this way, the Swedish cafés came to play an important role in the development towards gender equality. They provided a safe place for women to meet and gossip, but more importantly, discuss ideas of women liberation. So what's the most common fika treats? A classic Swedish fika is a cup of coffee, ably accompanied by a cinnamon bun. If you don't fancy coffee, tea, juice or soft drinks are also accepted. But accompanying sweets are crucial. Cinnamon buns, chocolate balls, lucifer buns, princess cake, and vacuum cleaners are some of the most common and important ones of the Swedish fika culture. It comes as no surprise that Swedes are among the top consumers of coffee and sweets in the world. So welcome inside to have a Swedish fika with me.